family that you can have a nickname, you can do it. But right. I'm just I'm just making that clear. <laughs> yeah. All right. Coming up next, we've got a submission from FG Postmortem from Long Island, New York, Orlando, Florida, with a song called "Love." Francis featuring Dakuchi Monster produced by Zeref. All right. Here we go. She post mortem is singing, and I think it sounds cool. I I gotta say I kind of wish the vocals were a little bit louder, but other than that, I think it's cool. I like everything else he's doing. Uh, it just it sounds nice enough where I think the vocals can go up just a little bit, little bit. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially on the chorus, I'd probably pan them out a little bit. You know what I mean? Just a little more stereo on the chorus. It was great. What y'all think? Also, YouTube, listen. No, hopefully no copyrights. I just want to say that real quick. This is using a lot of Drag Z in there. <laughs> oh yeah, he should be okay. We hope. I hope we're okay. I hope. I just, I, yeah. I had to say that real quick. No copyrights. All that type of stuff. Drag Z. Yeah. F- support the official release. All that type of stuff. You know what yeah. I mean? I didn't um, get a notice. Yeah, yeah. As long as we good. As long as we good. Because I know, I know Drag Z is one of those um things you could get a copyright on. So just yeah. making sure. Just make sure we all good. Um. But anyway. But yeah. Shout out to uh, SG Postmortem. Very uh humorous song. You know what I mean? Got a good laugh out of me. Um, shout out to uh, Dragon Ball Z. That's one of my spots. So, mm. you know what I mean? You know, you throw some anime in there. You know you got me already. So, shout That's out to him. That's your thing. Mm-hmm. Real talk. Not as born. This was dope, FG. This was dope. From a range perspective, the creativity, and, you know, FG makes us think. I love when he's in this space right here, when he makes us think like this connection. You see this old man with this connection to this television, you know, like it was this woman. You see what I'm saying? Like he, he, this, this faithful space, you know, and if you grew up without television, you wouldn't know this connection. Like this is something that you looked at, like it was a new thing. And then you see it change all over the years. You know, so the the imagery that's being displayed on this this tube and this connection, like I think he's taking this direction in regards to are we watch are we mindful of what we're watching, what you know, what we're what we're receiving. So it you know, it makes it seem like it's a woman, but I think it's, you know, 
this is our connection or hold to whatever's in this entertainment space, whatever's in this entertainment world that he's alluding to. And, you know, if I'm right, I'm I'm glad. If I'm wrong, then I just looked a little too deep into it. But either way, I appreciated uh, the allusion to it and how these narratives and things like that are, are shaping our mind and, and giving us space to be mindless. So salute to FG for the wake up on that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right.